Hey YouTubers, this is Glamazante, and I'm coming to you again today with a new DIY. But as you can see, a lot of things have changed since my last video. I changed my hair back pink, which I absolutely, absolutely love. I'm just, I don't know. I just like my own hair better and pink. Plus, it's my favorite color. And also, I got my dimples pierced. But... I can do a video on that also if you want. Just let me know. But that's pretty much just all that's been going down with me over the last couple of days. But I'm here to give you a DIY on these lace-up boots that everybody is going crazy about. And it's one replica of the lace-up boots as in um, Alexander, McQueen, Alexander McQueen boots. And they don't have the toe out. But the ones that I'm going to do today, they actually have the toe out. Basically, right now, I'm about to show you the boots that I revamped. So, on one side, you can see that it's just a basic black boot. And that was originally how it was. And I took it from the basic black boot to a lace boot. Now, these boots fit me as like a thigh boot. But, I mean, you can pair this up with anything, wear it with anything. But, I mean, it's a back boot. But, I just wanted to give it a more edgier look versus just being a regular thigh boot. So, I mean, that's the boot. And let's get into it. So, the things you'll need right now to accomplish this boot is a basic black pair of boots. You can do thigh boots. You can do calf boots. It doesn't matter. Knee boots. It doesn't matter. You can even do ankle boots because I think I might do these pair of ankle boots. I have my closet as of right now, but... Any type of boot. The middle is, you know, just plain. Um, you're going to need paint to do these. Any type of black acrylic paint. Um, to do this, I actually bought the whole spool. But I use um, just black shoestring type of material. So, yeah, it's not nothing really that bad. And <clears throat> I just got the whole thing to accomplish my thigh boots. I actually got 22 yards, but that's definitely way too much. You probably only need like 15, maybe 15, 16 at the max. Um, you will need a small pair of scissors and you'll need a big pair of scissors. So you will need both sets of scissors. You'll need a paintbrush, just a small one though, nothing big at all. And you'll need these um cutters. Now, I'm not for sure what kind of cutter these is because I got them a very, very long time ago. But these cutters are like flat on the back and then like on an angle. So they snip pretty good. You might not need them, but I needed them just to get in there really and clip the um Toe part is actually pretty hard, so you will need these, I think. But if you can get it with the scissors, that's good for you. And you'll need a hole puncher. That's a basic handheld hole puncher. And some tape. And some tape. So, let's get started. Okay, to start off, you will take your basic black boot and you will slide it on. clips the clips and pull your boots as far as possible so we're going to do that one we're going to do that one that one and do that one so basically you have it clipped all the way down now you would take your white 
eyeliner. Mine's just liquid. You can use um, you can use a pencil, but I just happen to have a white liquid one. And I will take this and make a paint line. Line and cut off all the excess on your boot. So now I'm going to go cut that off and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that you have cut the middle out of your boot, this is what it should look like. And I cut on the actual white lines, but you might want to cut a depending on if you want skin showing in the middle or a sock showing in the middle because there is no tongue on this boot behind the laces you would cut a little bit more because when you pull the laces it will get tighter and it'll close it up so if you want it depending on closed up completely when you wear the boot with just laces you would just cut it on the outline but if you would like skin or showing in the background of it you would cut probably an inch more on each side and I actually did the toe part as well. So now is where you would take your laces and you would take them off your spool and then cut them to about, I want to say, maybe 11 or 10 feet. And is when you would take your um, ruler and you would measure alongside of the opening and mark probably every inch or every half inch. I didn't mind every half inch because I wanted a lot of lacing in the boots. If you don't want a lot of lacing, you could do an inch, you could do two inches, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> Just on your preference. So yeah, so now you would take this, you would take your eyeliner, you would measure along this and go. And after that, you would take your hole punch and hole punch each hole on each side every inch or every half inch or whatever your preference is so now I'm gonna go do that and then I'm gonna come back with the boots okay so now I'm back now after we have lace hole punch the boots and lace them up you're almost done but not quite yet now if you're wondering why I said we're not done it's because Clearly, we have cut a boot so it is unfinished here. You can see all this white stuff. So, depending on the color of your boot, which mine is black, we're going to take we're going to take um, a dab of paint and just put it on a piece of paper or anything. And I'm going to take this little teeny paintbrush and we're going to I'm going to take this little teeny paintbrush and we're going to fill in the areas of where it is white that way you have no clue that the boot is actually in reality cut open and that it's remade Okay, so that was your replica of the boot. All these products cost under like $20. So, I mean, it's a new revamp boot for under $20. And it's actually fashionable and trendy. But just let me know what you guys think. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And until next time. See you. Thanks.